Hi friends, it's May here. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make paksil na bangus. And this is the main ingredients for today's dish. This is called bangus in my native country, which is the Philippines. And the English for this fish is called mil uh, milkfish. So I have two milkfish here. I just sliced them, you know. And that's what we're going to use for today's dish. And for the rest of my ingredients, I have two pieces of the, um, oops, my camera. Wait a minute, you guys. There you go. Um, I have two pieces of uh, white onions here. With ginger, I put a little bit of extra ginger for my um, paxil for today. I like my paxil to be kind of like gingery, uh, oniony, and garlicky flavor. <laughs> and uh, I have one head of garlic here. Oh, what's wrong with my camera today? Okay, one head of garlic. And I have two lemongrass over here. Um, I don't know for some of you guys that make bangus from back home, from the Philippines, my Filipino sisters and brothers. But uh, when I do my paksil, I always put lemongrass, which is uh, in Tagalog, tanglad. Um, I have here some eggplant. I'm going to put eggplant on my paksil for today. And I have uh, the bitter melons, which, you know, our favorite uh, vegetables here at home. Um, bitter melon is very good for you guys if you guys have a low blood pressure. Bitter melon helps to boost that blood pressure up a little bit so you guys in the right level. And so you don't feel, you know, sometimes there's two ways. When you have low blood pressure, you, ha you feel dizzy. And sometimes when you have a very high blood pressure, you still feel dizzy. So, But this one, it balances it. And I have here a um, couple of scallions. I want to put some scallions or uh, green uh, leaves, uh, green onion leaves. There you go. Uh, the other term for this one. Because sometimes when I say scallions, like, you know, people were asking me, what is scallions? May, you know, the new teenagers that are on my channel. So it, this is just like, um, just green onion leaves. And I'm going to put four pieces of uh, green Thai chili. I wanted to put more, but my sister, she can't handle that much uh, spicy food because both of us, our skin breaks down when it's really too spicy. But yeah, four is good enough. And uh, we're also going to make adobong kangkong for today, you guys. Every time I make uh, a dish, I always want it with something else as well so that, you know, it balance. And you know, when you guys eat it, it tastes good. So this is our uh, kangkong. Uh, they call it kangkong in my um, native country, which is the Philippines again. And I think the same way in some uh, Southeast Asia, kangkong, but it was just like a spell uh, differently. Um, but this is just um, water spinach in English. They call it water spinach. Oh, what's wrong with my camera? It's not focusing today. So we're going to make adobong kangkong for today together with our fish, okay? And for that adobong kangkong, um, we only have, we're just going to saute the water spinach with garlic and onions. And for the rest of our ingredients, I have some chicken broth over here. I usually use my own spice vinegar. I make this one myself so that uh, every time I make adobo or paksil, I, I like it. Uh, I like using the spice vinegar. So if you guys want to make your own, you can always do that too. But if you don't have a spice vinegar in your home, um, the regular uh, vinegar will do. And of course, we have some soy sauce here, uh, salt. And um, I always like to put uh, sesame oil on my paksil after when it's close to finish cooking. Um, before you take it out from the stove, I, I usually put um, sesame oil. It makes the dish smell so good and it tastes, it's tasty too as well. Um, I have only a little bit left here so I think I'm just going to use that for tonight or for today. So okay guys, let's start. I have my pot over here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to layer the ingredients, all right? So at first, we're going to put some onions and 
um, ginger and um, garlic at the bottom all right let me uh, start that just give me one minute okay friends the first layer that I did on the pot was uh, the onions the ginger and uh, the uh, garlic so I put everything at the bottom and then I layered it with um, um, eggplant and uh, bitter melons and also some of the scallions and I put one of the lemongrass over here so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the fish here on top all right um, the reason why I did that is because I don't want to put the fish at the bottom of the pot is because when it started cooking I don't want them to stick uh, on the um, uh, uh, bottom of the plate so that's what we're going to do okay so we're just going to arrange this fish here and uh, there you go. Oh, my pot is very small. That's okay. I'll just put this one here on top. There, and then I need to put the... No, let me put the head first. Okay, and let me put squeeze this one in. Put this one sideways. all right okay so just like that so now friends what we're going to do is we're going to layer this again all right so we're going to layer this stuff here i'm holding my camera and i'm just using one of my hands so bear with me okay because it's a little bit hard i just want you guys to see how i'm doing this one here okay there you know guys um milkfish is one of my favorite dish um my favorite fish and paksiu is one of my favorite dish every time we have milk fish here at home. I wanted to make um, sinigang out of this but probably some other time because I just checked my pantry. I don't have my, um, my sinigang mix and my... Uh, I don't have taro root. It has to have taro root when I make sinigang, guys. Okay, so that. And hold on a minute. And we're going to put the scallions. And this one here. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to cover the fish with all of our ingredients. And don't worry guys, you know once this one cooks, they will subside and they're not going to be too... Too high and the chili we're just going to put it just anywhere all right Mom? all right oops sorry okay friends so uh, I put all the ingredients here we have some leftover eggplants here so I'm just going to mix it with our uh, water spinach when we uh, cook the adobo so all we have to do now is put our seasoning all right so give me one minute Okay, friends, first we're going to put half a cup of water there and a cup of spice vinegar. Okay, guys, now we're going to add one cup of our uh, spice vinegar. There you go. And later on, I'm going to show you guys the next step. Now we're going to cook this. Hey friends, now we're going to uh, put this one in the stove. At first, we're going to put it in high. Once we hear that our stuff is uh, boiling, then we're going to put it in a simmer. We don't need to put the, o the oven or the stove very high, alright? So, okay, so let's just uh, wait for it. And then, I'll see you guys in a bit. 
Okay, friends, while we're waiting for our paxil to be finished, um, I mean, to start boiling, we're going to start doing the adobong kangkong. I just have a little bit of uh, garlic here and a little bit of um, onions to saute, just to saute, because we don't have much anyway. So, we don't need too much of those. And then we're going to put the eggplant. I have some leftover eggplants. We're going to put the eggplant first before the uh, kangkong or before the water spinach. Because that one, it's very easy to cook. And eggplant is a little bit harder. So, okay guys, we're just going to saute this. And then we'll come back, okay? Okay friends, we're going to cover this one for about 5 to 10 minutes. Let's just wait for the eggplant to cook. And for our um, paksiyo na bangus here, started to boil now. So we're just um, gonna let it boil for like five more minutes, and then um, we're going to lower the heat. Okay, let's lower the heat right now. So, because I don't want it to get burned. So a while ago it's high. Now it's in between um, high and simmer. All right, and for our eggplant here. Yeah, we'll cook it for a little bit more. Okay, friends, the next step, I put a little bit of soy sauce, probably uh, around 2-3 uh, tablespoons of soy sauce and 1 uh, tablespoon of uh, spice vinegar. So we're just going to cover this one again, let it well cook, and then uh, we'll do the next step. And this one over here, still boiling. Oh, it smells so good, you guys, man. It's going to be a good food tonight again. And for the uh, seasoning, hold on, guys. Okay, for the seasoning, I have this one, one uh, and a half uh, tablespoon of um, chicken broth and one tablespoon of soy sauce and a little bit of salt. Now, for you guys, it's up to you how you want your salt. But if I were you guys, try use using soy, uh, fish sauce yet, patties. Try using that and put a little bit of uh, salt so that it's not going to be too, um, too salty, okay? So we're going to put that one, we're going to put this one in there, alright? Hold on. Okay, friends, I also put a little bit of uh, ground fresh pepper. And here, I put our water spinach together with the eggplant. I season it with half a tablespoon of chicken broth, a little bit of salt, and we're going to give it a mix. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. And guys, look at our pak seal. Isn't that looking nice, hey? Man, it smells so good. Okay, I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, friends, now that our pak seal is almost done, we're going to put the remaining sesame oil. And this one, it enhances the smell and, and the taste as well. So I don't have much, so I'm just going to finish the whole thing. Put the whole thing. Ooh, la la. You guys, look at that. Mmm, the smell is so good, you guys. So good. Mmm. Alright. Okay, friends, this is our finished product. This is our uh, adobong kangkong with uh, talong. So, water spinach with eggplant adobo. And this is our paksiyo na bangus. Alright. So, if you guys like this video again, please um, give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my video. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed night everyone. God bless us all. Bye for now.